welcome to a new day. We are getting back on this vlog schedule. And this vlog consistency is the word. Um, so I am on my way actually. It's actually like almost one o'clock and I'm actually on my way to go get my tooth done. So, um, if you guys don't know me personally, I don't really talk about this very much, but I have like really, really soft teeth. Um, so my teeth break really easily. They just get a bunch of cavities really easily. Um, they just, they're horrible. They're horrible teeth. I've never had braces, but I have like really nice teeth for have never having braces. And my teeth are nice, but they are just crap teeth. Um, my mom actually is the same exact way. My mom's teeth are the same way. My uncle's teeth are the same way. So it is hereditary, unfortunately. I hope my kids never have my teeth. Um, I hope they have like their dad's teeth who like, never had a cavity. Um, he's had braces, but he's never had a cavity. He has like, the most perfect teeth. Um, and me, unfortunately, I brush my teeth. Um, I'm not the best with flossing, but so anyways, um, I take care, I take care of my teeth. Um, I just am prone to getting cavities. Um, so growing up, I used to have a lot of like mini cavities, but I used to get the fluoride trays in my teeth and I used to be fine. Um, and then I think it was my freshman year of college, I think it was my freshman year of college, um, I ended up having to get a root canal done on my tooth a crown it was like a whole procedure whoa this lighting it was like a whole surgery that i had done i had like a bone abstract done and it was like a weird weird surgery um and it's like my last molar on my right side and at the time i couldn't afford a full a full porcelain tooth so you can actually see like a silver cap on my tooth um, on the inside and the outside, the doctor was actually really nice because he knew I was like really upset about this. And he put the outside porcelain and then only the inside is um, like the silver. Um, and what he did instead was I actually got to do like a magazine photo for him uh, for his dentistry with my teeth. Um, and that's the reason why he covered half my porcelain because porcelain is expensive compared to the, I forget what the other stuff's called. And I did this like, I did this like eight years ago now, 2012, nine years ago now. I don't know. It was a lot. It was like, whoa. It was um, my freshman year of college. So I've um, been married for going on five years. And I graduated. So yeah, almost nine years ago. And wow, it's been a long time since I've done that, huh? Um, so I did that, and since then my teeth have, so after I got that done, my mom paid cash for it because like I didn't have dental insurance or anything like that, and then probably, I would say like a year and a half, two years after that tooth, um, I just didn't really go to the dentist to be honest with you because I didn't have dental and I couldn't afford it because my mom moved, I was paying for bills by myself, and so... I didn't have dental and I couldn't afford it. So, um, when I finally went in, I was like, oh, I need to get my teeth checked. Um, and I had a lot of cavities and I knew I had cavities because my teeth were hurting me. And I had like, so like the dentist explains my, my cavities are like these literally like, they're like the size of a ballpoint pen. Like they're super, super tiny little cavities that I get in like the oddest places. Um, and there are places that no matter how much I brush my teeth or floss, they're like where they are wedged. It's just, it's hard to get to it. So things build up and things happen. So um, I went, I got some, I, I'm pretty sure, um, I ended up having to pull a tooth because I couldn't afford to get another root canal. Um, and I was really upset about it. And it was my top left back molar. And it was like my last molar there. And I had to pull it out because I couldn't afford another root canal, like I said. And, oh wait, was it a root canal or I had to get a bridge? I think it was a bridge. It was a bridge or a root canal, but it was something that I, the tooth, I had to like replace it. And 
I'm pretty sure it was either a root canal or a bridge, something along that lines, but it needed to work, and so the cheapest option was just to pull it. So I did. Um, so fast forward in a couple of years, my wisdom teeth actually grew, my top wisdom teeth actually grew in its place. So they were like, your tooth is pretty much acting like a molar, so let's just keep it there. And I was like, cool, sounds good. So um, once I came to Colorado, I knew I needed some more cavities filled and some more work done. So I went to a dentist here and it was great. Like I started doing my checkups because you know I had dental thanks to Cameron and his TRICARE, but I had dental. So then I was like, you know what, time for me to start really taking care of my teeth. And um, everything was fine and dandy. I got like a few of my cavities filled, whatever. Then while I was actually pregnant with Leanne, it's common that your teeth are really sensitive and um, your gums are really sensitive. You're like more prone to gingivitis and all that stuff. Well, actually, while I had Landon, while I was pregnant with him, I actually cracked one of my tooth. It was actually this front one over here, and I actually had to get a root canal done on it um, because of how severely I cracked that tooth. Um, I had to actually get a root canal done while I was like pregnant. It was like during like, my first or second trimester, not the second trimester of Landon. I had to get a root canal done. And then I never put the crown back on because I had to wait a little bit. And then at that point, I ended up hitting my third trimester. And you can't do no like that type of numbing stuff in your third trimester because it's not good for baby. Um, or it, I think it's like something like it can induce labor or something like that. But not in the second trimester. I don't know. But something along those lines. So I had to wait. And then I ended up never getting it done. Um, never ended up getting the crown put on. Because, like, it was different dentists. My my actual dentist doesn't do root canals. So I had to go to, like, a third party to do the root canal. And then I never went back to him. And then I ended up getting pregnant again. And then when I was pregnant again, I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I had to fill a cavity. And so I was like, can we just put the crown on now? Thankfully, I was in my second trimester with Asher that I could actually get the crown put on. So I did. And I got some things, like, filled in. And everything was fine. Um, I had no other cavities to do. Um, I, like, my teeth were fine. So, yeah, everything was, like, fine and dandy. My teeth are fine. My teeth are finally, like, up to date. And, like, you know, no more cavities. No more nothing. Well, I recently had to do a cleaning. And at my cleaning, I, w I asked the dentist, I was like, hey, I've noticed, like, I think I'm getting a really bad cavity at my back left molar my back left bottom molar and I was like it doesn't bother me and I was like but I can see it like it's starting to become like the very back corner is like becoming like a like a gray and black um and he did my x-rays and everything and I also realized I had a, I had a cavity in my top tooth because I could feel it when I eat certain things and he goes oh my gosh and he was like He's like, we just saw you not that long ago. And I was like, yeah, it's probably been like nine months since I've been in for my last cleaning. And my last cleaning, my teeth are great. And he was like, wow. And basically, my tooth is decaying. Um, he was a little concerned about it because um, that tooth is decaying. And then my top two wisdom teeth are actually decaying as well. And he was like, your wisdom teeth isn't a big deal. Let's just pull them. Um, he's like, they don't serve a purpose for you. And it's actually probably going to shift your teeth eventually anyway. So let's just pull it. And I said, sounds good. Um, like I said, that wisdom teeth, that the wisdom tooth on my top left was actually kind of like in place of my molar anyways. And so he was like, it's not going to like cause any discomfort. I can see with your chewing, <clears throat> you actually don't really use it. I said, okay. Um, and he goes, and then he looks at me and he goes, I don't want to frighten you, but I'm a little concerned. And I was like, why? And he was like, um, decay happens. He was like, but the fact that your tooth has decayed that much, that drastically in just a few months concerns me. And now I'm like, oh my gosh. And he was like, honestly, I think we may have to pull that tooth. So I'm starting, I'm sitting there and bawling my eyes out because I'm like, what? 
And remember, I would pull my top tooth because I couldn't afford it. Like, I can afford now to fix my bottom tooth with the root canal. And it, granted, it's a lot of money still, you know what I mean? It's a thousand dollars, but I, I have the money, you know? So he was like, I'm going to do everything I can to get in there, clean it out, and hopefully put a crown on, no root canal, just a crown. He's like, but I won't know until I get in there, which is actually my appointment today. Um, he's like, but if I get in there and it needs a root canal, we need a root canal. He's like, but looking at it, I think we need to just pull it. And I was like, well, I want to do everything I can to save my tooth. Like, I don't want to lose a, my top my top back tooth, you don't really notice it when you smile or talk or anything. But your bottom tooth, you notice it if it's gone. You're going to notice it if I talk. You're going to notice it if I'm, like, laughing and my mouth is open. Like, you're going to notice a tooth being missing. So I was pretty upset. And he knew I was upset. And he's like, well, we'll go in and we'll hopefully clean it out. And hopefully we can just put a crown on it and no root it out. I said, okay. So that's what I'm praying that's going to happen today. If not, I'm going to have to go to another third party, get my root canal done, come back, then do my crown. Or I'm going to have to actually pull my tooth. And I'm praying to God that I don't pull my tooth. But um, that's that. There's so, no parking. Fun. So, yeah, I will keep you guys updated on what they say. Hopefully, we don't have to pull my tooth. I'm praying to God that I don't have to pull my tooth because I will be really devastated. Um, that's another thing. We did talk about if I do have to pull my tooth, I can do an implant, which is basically like a fake, they like, will like, they'll pretty much like fake a tooth into your mouth. Um, it's a actually pretty intensive, um, procedure. My mom is actually doing one right now for her teeth. Um, cause again, my mom has really bad teeth too. So, um, yeah, we're going to go to the dentist. Hopefully we have some good news, but I will keep you guys updated. Fingers crossed. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later now. I went to the dentist and it's like 8.30 now. I left the dentist around 5.15ish almost. Um, maybe like just after five. And guys, it's I spent like four hours at the dentist and I'm still like really numb. Um, as you can see, <laughs> I'm still pretty numb, um, but it's definitely starting to wear off. About like halfway through doing the procedure, I was in so much pain, um, and I like kind of like stopped him because like he can see that I was like tensing up and everything, and I was like shaking. He's like, "Are you okay?" And I was like, "No, it like really hurts." And he was like, "Well, it shouldn't." And so they gave me more like of the numbing shot stuff, and let me tell you, I can feel all right here. It's so sensitive and it hurts so bad. Um, but he got it done. Um, I had like two other fillings I had to do too. Um, and so he did that, and then, yeah, it was pretty intense, it was a pretty long day at the dentist, um, my jaw really hurts from keeping it open that long, um, but I'm just thankful that he was able to save the tooth as of now, so hopefully nothing goes wrong, I did just take an ibuprofen 600 because I'm in a lot of pain, and he actually told me to take ibuprofen because I guess it helps with the inflammation, so I took that, I'm actually allergic to like ibuprofen um in the past ibuprofen 800 used to make my heart race um and so i haven't really taken it in the last like almost like 10 years um but i was like you know what like maybe you know i've changed i'm an adult now um maybe it won't um i know my anxiety has a lot to do with i have like a lot of anxiety taking medication so i don't know if like maybe that's the reason why my heart used to race with it but um i took a 600 milligram and i've been fine um, I did have a full belly when I took it, so I don't know if that kind of helped. <sighs> I'm in so much pain, but yeah. Um, I'm just really glad that they were able to fix my tooth. 
um, and get me in. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm in like so much pain. Um, but it it is what it is, right? I mean, I actually ended up posting on my Facebook about my tooth, and my aunt Ellie said that she's had a ton of root canals. Um, so when I said I spent four hours at the um, dentist, like she was like a root canal, and I was like, no, it was just a crown. But pretty much like same procedure as a root canal, except you don't get the like rod and all that stuff in there. But she's older than I am, so she's like a little late in the game for me to be doing it but I'm younger and she was actually talking about oil pulling I'm gonna bring up the article I've never heard of it before but it's oil pulling with coconut oil can transform your dental health so this is the article she sent me and she talked about oil pulling and I kind of want to try it now so I am going to try to get some pure coconut oil um, it says oil pulling is an ancient Indian folk remedy claimed to whiten your teeth, freshen your breath, and gently improve oral health. Um, using coconut oil or oil pulling is becoming increasingly popular. A lot of people swear by this remedy and many say it also improves their health in other ways. Yada, 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 yada. I'll leave this um, article down below. Um, but it says in here basically you just swish oil around your mouth like a mouthwash. Um, about 15... Oh wow, that's a long time. It says, in order to oil pull, you must, um, you put a tablespoon of oil in your mouth and switch it around for 15 to 20 minutes. I thought it was seconds. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Wouldn't hurt to give it a try, I guess. Um, I'm really ready for anything. Um, I know the dentist recommends fluoride, like, treatments. But I've also heard fluoride isn't that great for you, so I don't really know anymore at this point. I just want my teeth to not fall out of my mouth. Um, but the dentist did say that my front teeth look beautiful, um, but it's just my back teeth that are just awful. Um, and unfortunately, I need those to chew, so got to take care of them. But we do have one more dentist appointment. I do have another dentist appointment in a month, and I'm getting my wisdom teeth removed another crown and then a really tiny little cavity so hopefully actually it probably will be like another four hour appointment um but we shall see um i'm just i'm not ready for it but after today i'm like i really don't want to go to it but i need to finish my teeth because i'm moving to new mexico soon so i want to make sure my teeth are like pretty good to go so the only thing i really need to do in new mexico is like my cleanings and like checkups so yeah um but yeah i am just hanging out in bed i'm about to like wash my face off soon um i'm just watching um Alyssa. i love her what's her last name um i'm just watching Alyssa rose on youtube um she's like quickly become like one of my favorite smaller youtubers because she posts like every other day i think it is or three times a week i forget it i forget but I think she posts every other day. I want to say it's like every other day. But I like love her. She has like long videos. They're usually like 30 to 40 minute videos. Um, and I just love it because like she cooks and she's actually really young. Um, and she has quite a few followers. She has 172,000. So she has quite a following. But I just love how real she is. And yeah, she lives in Long Island or Staten Island. Are they the same thing? I don't know. But she's in East but she's from the East Coast, so yeah, I'm just watching her. So I have her and I have my porch she's blinking on my bed. Um and in my hard drive I have a pop tart and have some water and I'm just gonna hang out in bed. Um Karen's playing Xbox. I think he'll probably be coming up soon because he has work tomorrow, so <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I may end the video here. I may pick up the video tomorrow. Oh my gosh, my nose has like legit my nose has literally no foundation on it anymore. My makeup looks horrible. And the dogs are barking because Cameron didn't let them in yet. Did he get him? I don't know. But my makeup looks absolutely horrible from them like wiping my face and all the stuff that they did. I don't know. They were like spraying so much water on me. and My mouth really hurts though so I'm just going to relax for the rest of the night. Yeah.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and kind of like an update about my freaking tooth um, if you're curious. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!